Greetings YouTube, um, I'm doing a quick little improvised video about what I think is about um, the events that have taken place in Libya over the last couple of days. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I've been up in London and I haven't had access to the internet, so I've been a little bit out of the loop, so um, the whole thing uh, came as quite a surprise to me, but it seems that it's really come as a surprise to everyone. Um, just to recap, um, basically I believe the rebels began to assault the Libyan capital and Gaddafi's final real stronghold of Tripoli. Um, on the 19th of August, um, it seems to, it seems that they've, um, brought in people from the coast, uh, and from the mountains in the west, as well as there apparently has been an According to the rebels, there's been an internal uprising um, in favour of the rebellion against the Gaddafi regime. And um, basically, over the last few days, um, the rebels have pretty much taken control of uh, most of the city. Uh, about 90 to 95% uh, as it stands right now. Um, they seem to have captured... Um, a couple of Gaddafi's sons, um, reports of Karmis Gaddafi, who was in charge of one of the, the elite brigades of the Jamahiriya. Um, Saif Islam uh, Gaddafi was also captured, but it seems he's escaped, and uh, there seems to be at least some supporters who were seen in front of a, a crowd of people. Um, so it's all happened very quickly over the last few days. Um, I think it's pretty much safe to say now um, that the Gaddafi regime is over. Um, there's, I don't think there's any real way he could bounce back with this. He seems to have his, uh, his forces caught in the desert between Tripoli and Benghazi in the strip of desert south of uh, Misrata. Um, it, I, I think everyone was surprised by how quickly the rebels managed to take over so much of the city. Um, basically, um, I think they caught Gaddafi's people by surprise. Um, I think they were, by now they must have been undersupplied, um, running out of people. Exactly what, um, we may not, not ever know exactly what happened because as we all know victory is written uh, sorry history is written by the victors um so the exact details of the course of the battle um uh, probably lost to the sands of time but in any case it's it's going to be a week two weeks at the max um before uh the rebels or the National Transitional Council completely take over administrative control of all of Libya. Um, we may see some kind of a, an insurgency from um, remaining Gaddafi loyalists. Um, a lot of that really depends on Gaddafi. He's still not been found, uh, as far as I know. Um, he's obviously hiding out somewhere, moving around. Um, he's already he had a narrow shave in a hospital in Tripoli, I believe. Uh, so there's not much time for uh, Gaddafi left either. Um, he says he doesn't want to leave the country unless it's in a coffin. Um, and that may well be the case. Um, so we'll just have to see about that one. So um, now Gaddafi has a lot of supporters on the far left. And I'm sure tonight they're probably crying into their beers about the dear brother leader um, losing to the you know, the imperialists and the counter-revolutionaries, whatever you want to call them. But I say none of this matters. Gaddafi is, for a long time, Gaddafi's been irrelevant um, to the cause of the workers in Libya. Um, he's uh, long been a bourgeois ruler, or perhaps even the petty bourgeois ruler, but um, in terms of the working class, Gaddafi or no Gaddafi, um, as soon 
there as soon as NATO is out, um, and it's very important that work is done to get NATO military forces out. The real battle in Libya, um, the real deciding conflict and struggle for the future of Libya will be decided then. Now, um, part of the problem is we really don't know about the composition of um, much of the rebel groups. Hmm. It's definitely a coalition of um, insurgent groups. There is a there's known to be a few different Islamist groups operating, and um, their behaviour over the coming months will really be determined by um, how dedicated they are to the cause of bourgeois democracy in Libya. Um, aside from that, there's a, I can't remember what they're called, but there's a party um, who are basically just campaigning for elections um, for you know, like the normal democratic system to be installed in Libya. Um, aside from that, we don't. I I know I've read interviews on AFED from anarchists from Libya, um, but how many communists there are, how many Marxists. Um, Granted, there are socialists uh, of uh, Gaddafi's type, but we really don't know. But um, for any Libyan Marxists that are out there, now is really the time to begin agitation amongst the people. Um, over the next few months, we're going to begin to see a reconstruction of Libya. Um, and it's during this reconstruction when class struggle will become most acute in Libya. Um, living conditions have obviously plummeted. Um, the country's been torn apart by war, the infrastructure's been bombed to shit by the various factions in the fighting. Um, so, now is the time when everything is really up in the air. Now is the time to begin the process which I talked of previously of permanent revolution. The first objective is to get NATO out of Libya, to get the imperialists out. Um, I've seen news reports saying that um, there are British and therefore obviously American and European intelligence services embedded within the uh, National Liberation Army of the TNC, and these will have to be removed, um, gotten out of interference from Libya. Um, the illegitimacy of members of the National Council as former war criminals, uh, members of Gaddafi's regime, must be highlighted. Um, but what what we do not want is to we want as as I stated before, we want a government. What the Libyan people need is government that's stable enough to actually stop any kind of large scale violence, i.e., warfare. Um, but unstable enough where workers can begin to organise themselves, assert themselves as a political force within Libya um, to gain their rights, um, to expand their rights as far as possible, um, to have as much localised control as possible, as much workplace self-management, things like this, basically. Now is the time. Everyone's got the weapons in their hands. There doesn't necessarily need to be fighting, but the people should assert their need for the right to bear arms at this time. Basically, it's it's definitely now the time for the people to work to take power um, from what is the, the embryonic form of a bourgeois government, which is in the process of being created for Libya. Um, we should stress this government will Undoubtedly, due to the circumstances of the war, due to the economic situation the country's been put under as a result of the war, that they will be servicing a debt to America, to the European Union and other NATO countries. Um, and of course, what everyone fears is uh, another Egypt situation where you've replaced one dictator for another set of dictators, um, in Egypt's case, in the form of the uh, military junta that's uh, taking place. So, you know, I 
basically just reiterating. Now is the time to forget about fighting for Gaddafi. Forget about the TNC. It's time for the workers to agitate, to uh, create permanent revolution in Libya in the Marxist sense rather than the Trotsky sense. Um, so, like I say, you know, anyone who's getting all cut up over Gaddafi or whatever, you know, waste your energy on the man who's finished. He is no longer a force in Libya. What our efforts need to be is to support and encourage the working class in Libya to take a stand, to grasp with both hands the future of the country um, and their own futures in rebuilding their country. So, and, um, of course, getting the imperialists um, and the NATO elements out of the military, out of the country, out of any kind of form of in government, um, and basically away from the enslavement of what is surely going to be a second Iraq, where the country was indebted and basically just working to pay off the debt um, required for another country repairing it after they've destroyed it. That's kind of all I've got to say on the subject, really.